So when you first came here to the United States, uh, you came from Ireland, mm -hmm. of course, and you got here and you were doing an internship, right? That's what I thought I was doing. Um, a Westside internship was a very uh, interesting uh, thing to behold. But yes, I came here initially for two weeks um, to learn from Louis. I was initially going to go to uh, New Zealand. And three days before I was going to fly out, I got an email from Doris saying, oh, well, Do Louis. So Doris used to do emails back then <laughs> to uh, come over here and... Um, for two weeks to intern, and then I was going to go fly back to New Zealand. And I'm like, well, I can't turn this down. So I changed all my flights around and ended up going to uh, come to Columbus, Ohio, with no idea where I was staying. Remember, I arrived at the airport, <laughs> and I, uh, I got to figure, because my accommodation had, something went wrong, so I had to find a place and found an extended stay in a tasty part of town. And um, quickly realized that you couldn't cycle on these roads. People hate bicyclists here. And walking distance was just not a thing so your plan was to like bike to west side yeah yeah that was my plan was to to come up that way take these off um just because i i didn't think i'd be here for that long so for two weeks i'm like it'll save me on taxis because uber wasn't really a thing back then yeah and um so uh, i got a, a bicycle that's a whole another story i got a i got picked up by the cops because i didn't know how to get back so i said i'd cycle home on a freeway and uh they were like what are you doing and i'm like can i not cycle on these roads are like no this is this is a freeway you can't cycle on a freeway i'm like oh okay makes sense <laughs> so you're now. on the literal freeway trying to ride I, your bike oh it's i'm all over the well when i got here found that extended stay it was near nothing but i had a little cooker so i'm like i want to go get food so got a taxi out to walmart and was like walmart had everything i was like wow this has absolutely everything you can imagine Saw a bicycle on sale for 80 bucks. I'm like, I'm buying that. But saucepans, frying pans, bag of groceries, put the two of them on the handlebars and cycle out of there. And then uh, because I didn't really have good signal and it would cost me a fortune for data, I had a rough idea of the GPS, but it always took me the freeway. So I'm like, I'm going to cycle the same way I drove. And then as soon as I cycled on down the... <laughs> <laughs> on ramp the cops just pulled me over and like they're like what are you doing? it's just and then they load everything up the back of the car and they get on the radio and they're like you will not believe this and they're just like talking to everyone about yeah we pick up this guy from ireland cycle no no yeah cycling cycling on the road and i don't know who they're talking back and forth with uh so got set up and that was my first day in columbus and then the next day was the start of the internship so there's no walmart in europe right the, there was no, no not in, well, definitely not in Ireland in a way yeah. at that time. I'm not sure now there might be, but back then there was nothing like it. Um, so I remember going back and forth, and I'm jumping around a bit, but the email back and forth, figuring out what the internship was, I didn't understand how little structure Louis, he thought an intern was just someone who showed up to train. Yeah. So I'm like, how much does this cost? Because I, I want to make sure I had enough money to pay for the internship because I'd didn't think it'd be for free yeah and nothing was been sent back to me and i'm like i don't know i've got enough money here to cover um training here and then there was <laughs> there's just no information so i turn up uh, i see louis and um john kerr an athlete who trained here outside the door cycle in fall off my bike throw it to the side and he goes you must be the guy from ireland and i'm like yeah <laughs> And then John Kerr goes, well, welcome to hell, bitch. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, all right. A true West Side yeah. greeting. Um, and then before we start, he goes, Lou, how much does this cost? And he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, uh, no one told me how much I got to pay you guys. He's like, there's no charge. Like, you're coming over here to learn. There's no charge. And I was like, well, whew, right there. Because I yeah, know, sure. would, would this be 5000 10000 well, That's a long way to come. You, you know, yeah. and, and sometimes at that point in your life, too, I'm sure, sure being younger and people that are viewing that are at that age can understand this. So, you know, it's weird to ask questions like that, right? Because you don't want to mess things up. Yeah. Every, everything's awesome. You don't want to come off a certain way or whatever. So it's, it's awkward well, sometimes. You don't want to assume like that, oh, this is free or anything right. like that. Um, there's a saying I heard, it's better to sit in the back of a room, be asked to come to the front, then to go to the front and be thrown down to the back. Yeah. So uh, the one thing I made sure, the best advice I got for traveling was always keep enough money 
for a plane ticket home in case anything, but not knowing if there was any fees that um, that rule I couldn't live by. And then obviously figured out there was no charge. And on the same day I came here, there's a guy called uh, Jordan Syed. Yeah. Uh, from Saya Fitness, he started his internship the same day as I did, and so I had a kind of like a partner in crime trying to figure out what was going on. We walk in and we see like a couple of like advertised dudes and some really strong ladies training, and I'm like, oh wow, this is West Side. And then I hear this thump, thump, th- I'm like, what is that? And we walked in the the first door, not 497, so walk straight in. And then turned the corner, and I'm um, like, uh, right at that time, it was AJ Roberts, Brandon Lilly, Jake Anderson, uh, Luke Edwards had come, came back from um, uh, his kidney transplant, uh, Tony Balagoni, jeez, uh, who else was there? Tony Ramos. So you had all these guys, and I was like, holy crap, these are big dudes. Lift. They were lifting weights for speed reps that I wasn't even close to coming for max effort. And, uh, I was like, oh, this is a whole different level of what strong is. And then Lou's like, well, you got to go deadlift here. Um, he said, what do you do? He goes, well, I used to do Muay Thai, fight, but now I want to become a strength coach. And he's like, okay, every 30 seconds, deadlift three reps. And he put, the first time I ever used bands, he put mini bands over the bar for deadlifting. And I got it to my knees. And then I'm like struggling. <laughs> and then Lou's like, well, you're not as strong as you look. And I'm like, okay. And that was it, relegated over to the other side of the gym until you could graduate to go to the big guy side. Um, and that was it. That was my first day here. And then training was over. And I'm like, oh, okay, what do we do now for the internship? Lou brought us down, gave us a bunch of books, and basically told us to go figure it out. So Jordan and myself uh, would trade notes. We'd read books. I never saw downtown Columbus for eight weeks. I didn't know it existed. I just knew the... Uh, what was it? It was the Super Stay In or whatever was down on Wilson to the gym. I didn't know about Bob Evans till week four. And that was a whole other story. But um, then we were just figuring out how to uh, understand the system, go through the books. Because Lou would ask us 10 questions every morning. And uh, I just made sure I made Jordan go first. I would figure out a way to. Would there be questions about yeah, the books? So be que- he'd ask us 10 questions. And I just make sure that Jordan would answer first and he would give the answer. And he was like, no, it's this, this, and this. And then, <laughs> Tom, what do you think? And I'm like, I would ex- exactly, I would repeat exactly what Louis said. He's like, exactly. And Jordan would be like, you. I'm like, yeah. I would just always try to figure a way to where he would yeah, go first, sure. take the brunt of it. Um, then we realized there was no structure. So we started bringing structure to the internships and we just turned up every day. Um, uh, Louis gave Jordan a key, which was a huge thing in, told him, because he, he was going to do a powerlift to me, he can come in and train. So anytime Jordan would come in, he'd pick me up. Um, and then we would, uh, yeah, come in, train, try practice the practical from the theory and pick Louis's brain every day. And he took us out for uh, pizza every afternoon and Benelli's. And th- those sessions, we learned more from the meals and talking with Louis than we did by answering his questions in the books. And uh, he would, no matter how dumb the questions were, he let us know that like, it wasn't a smart question, but he let us ask him regardless. Yeah. Um, and that was, the, that was the basis of the internships. And it's supposed to be for a few weeks. Two weeks turned into four. Four turned into six weeks. Uh, then Jordan wanted to quit college and come train at Westside. And Lou's like, no, no, I want you to go back to college because... They're never going to accept someone like me delivering uh, education material. I want you to finish your degree and uh, push the system and uh, do the things I can't do. So he kept Jordan in college. Jordan went back. And then I helped Louis develop the special strength certificate online because it was an in-person um, seminar. Then so we kind of digitized that, put in the curriculum for it. And then Louis like, well, you can stay a little bit longer. And I'm like, okay. So I call back home. Uh, to uh, the job I was at. I'm like, hey, I'm going to take a little bit more time. So how long was this like up to this point? Was it like three months, six months? months? Three months. And then six months in, I'm like, okay, boom, I'm going home. And then Lou's like, well, if you want it, you can stay. And I was like, oh, this is is interesting. And when you're young, you're like, well, okay. Yeah. So figured it out and um, ended up staying. And 